Frank Watt Eric is a United States Marine. On November 19, 2005, he led his men in the Haditha killings, where he and fellow Marines opened fire, resulting in the death of 24 civilians, after a Marine had died in an insurgent attack. Originally charged with murder, the charges were later reduced to involuntary manslaughter and aggravated assault, and on January 23, 2012 Watt Eric pled guilty to a single count of negligent dereliction of duty as part of an plea agreement with military prosecutors. In exchange, all other charges were dropped. Watt Eric was sentenced on January 24 and convicted to forfeiture of two-thirds of pay for three months and reduction in rank from staff sergeant to private background. Watt Eric grew up in Meriden, Connecticut. In Hawaii, he met and married former wife Marisol with whom he has three daughters. Watt Eric was serving his second tour of duty in Iraq when the Haditha incident occurred. Frank Watt Eric was given an honorable discharge from the United States Marine Corps in February of 2012. Haditha Incident According to news reports Watt Eric was the senior Marine on patrol, and after the killings, allegedly lied to his commanding officers by stating that 15 of the dead Iraqi civilians were killed in the same IED explosion that touched off the incident. Time magazine has reported that military investigators had placed Watt Eric in at least two of the houses in which the killings took place. On June 11, 2006, the Washington Post reported a detailed account of Watt Eric's version of events is related through his attorney, Neil A. Puckett. Besides photographic evidence of the killings provided by Iraqi journalism student to her to bet, there was also testimony from a young Iraqi girl who survived by hiding. The girl described having watched the Marines shoot her family members systematically. The photographs and forensic evidence were later used to corroborate the Marines' version of events. Since being named in news reports in connection with the killings, several of what Eric's family members have spoken out in his defense. Watt Eric's father, Dave Watt Eric, told the Associated Press that, I just don't believe that he, Frank Watt Eric, would do something like that. Previously, Watt Eric's former wife, Marisol, had praised Watt Eric in blog postings. On June 19, 2007, Marisol Watt Eric and her father-in-law were interviewed on Fox News channels Hannity and Combs. Both said that they back Frank Watt Herrick 100%. Captain James Kimber, Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey R. Chesney, and Captain Luke McConnell, according to a report by The Times on May 29, 2006, were all relieved of their duties on suspicion of inadequate reporting of or investigation into the Haditha incident. Unsuccessful defamation suit. On August 2, 2006, Watt Herrick filed a lawsuit against Representative John Murtha of Pennsylvania for libel and invasion of privacy. Watt Herrick claimed that Murtha had defamed Watt Herrick's image by accusing the Marines of cold-blooded murder with respect to the Haditha killings. On September 1, 2007, news outlets reported on a hearing of Sergeant. Sanic de la Cruz, a subordinate of Watt Eric at the time of the Haditha incident, in which de la Cruz testified against Watt Eric. In September 2008, District Judge Rosemary M. Collier denied a motion to dismiss the suit and ordered Murtha to give a deposition in the case. However, on April 14, 2009, a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit overturned the order and dismissed the suit, ruling that the suit was barred by the Federal Employees' Liability Reform and Tort Compensation Act of 1988, which protects federal employees from being sued personally for actions done in the course of their official duties. De La Cruz Testimony Sergeant Sanic de la Cruz was on the mission that day. He agreed to testify for the prosecution in exchange for immunity. He changed the story he had previously told about the events of the day. In particular, his new story about the men in the white car differed from the version told by the defense and by forensic experts. 
On September 2, 2007, an updated re-airing of 60 Minutes, narrated by Scott Pelley, disclosed that what Eric did not have to go to Iraq, but went because he wanted to see war. Pelley also revealed that all charges had since been dropped against Sanic de la Cruz and two others. De La Cruz recounted his story in an in-depth profile in the July 2008 edition of Chicago Magazine, speaking about the ordeal to a journalist for the first time, legal proceedings. On December 21, 2006, the U.S. military charged eight Marines in connection with the Haditha killings. The four enlisted, including what Eric were charged with 13 counts of unpremeditated murder, while the officers were charged with covering up the killings and failing to investigate properly. Six of the cases were dropped and one officer was acquitted at court-martial. When announcing the charges, Colonel Stuart Navarre said, We now know with certainty the press release was incorrect and that none of the civilians were killed by the IED explosion. On September 3, 2007, the Article 32 hearing investigating officer LTCOL, Paul Ware, recommended that what Eric should be tried for the lesser offense of negligent homicide in the deaths of two women and five children, and that charges of murder be dropped. Ware wrote, I believe after reviewing all the evidence that no trier of fact can conclude Staff Sergeant. What Herrick formed the criminal intent to kill, when a Marine fails to exercise due care and civilians die, the charge of negligent homicide, and not murder, is appropriate. The case against Staff Sergeant, what Herrick is simply not strong enough to conclude he committed murder beyond a reasonable doubt. Almost all witnesses have an obvious bias or prejudice. What Herrick was expected to be back in court to face nine counts of manslaughter in early 2010, which would equate his sentence to 152 years in prison. Subsequently, a trial date was set for 12 April 2011. In June 2011, it was postponed again. The court-martial finally took place in January 2012. On 23 January 2012, all jurors at his court-martial were dismissed after SSGT what Herrick pleaded guilty to one count of negligent dereliction of duty in a plea deal, approved by LT Gen. Waldhauser, the commander of Marine Forces Central Command, in which the charges of assault and manslaughter were dropped and what Eric would avoid jail time but get a reduction in rank to private in a pay cut. On January 24, 2012, the judge presiding over what Eric's case convicted him accordingly.